Ladies and gentlemen, for the final season 19 trailer talk, I have the final contestant, the final artist on Team Legend, the magical, <laughs> out of this world, multifaceted, multi-talented artist from Rosenberg, Texas. Yes. From, <laughs> from Rosenberg, Texas, into our hearts. Yeah. John <laughs> Holiday. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. <laughs> yes. John Holiday, it's been such a joy for me to get to know you during this time, to learn about all the things you've been doing in your career up to this point, yeah. and then to have the chance to work with you on what you're doing right now. Yeah. The pursuit of the voice trophy. It will be mine. <laughs> yeah. But even regardless of who wins the trophy, just having this opportunity to be in front of the entire nation oh my goodness. and be able to sing everything that you've been able to sing from soul to pop to um, to everything in between. Yeah. Uh, it's been amazing to see your journey. How have you felt? It has been an interesting, but most, most of all, a beautiful journey. I was telling everyone this morning, I got really emotional on the way to the studio yes. this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost over. Uh, and then thinking about the finality of it all, just remembering for myself what I have done on the journey. Yeah. Uh, and there are no more boxes for me. Mm -hmm. You know, people try to, I, I'm trying to cry. Mm -hmm. People put you in boxes. I've been put in boxes my uh -huh. whole life. Uh, and I've come here and I've eliminated the boxes. Yes. And that, that feels like the most amazing blessing to me. There are no limitations. No limitations. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your history as an artist. Yeah. Um, you've been doing amazing work in the opera world, in yeah. classical uh, music, singing just beautifully and representing so well. Talk about what it's felt like to come up in that, uh, mm -hmm. in that genre and yeah. in that world. What it's felt like for you? In my world of opera, it is so uh, it's so different from what most people know about, like you know, pop or even jazz. Mm -hmm. But the the thing that I think uh, melds them all together is just music is a universal language, right? Yes. Uh, especially in opera, you know, um, you you're singing in different languages. Yes. You just, I mean, but you get to travel all, all over the place too. Uh, but traveling all over the world and singing with different people from all over the place and speaking the language, I've been lucky enough to learn German and learn Italian. So you speak are, Italian yeah, well? I speak Italian. I speak German very, very well. Amazing. Amazing. So, so who are some of the composers that you've sung? I sing a lot of Handel. Okay. Because uh, he writes a lot of thrilling music. For okay. piano tenors, I sing lots of Mozart. Mm -hmm. um, um, I sing lots of Gluck. Uh, Bach. Um, I don't sing any Beethoven. Lots of Schubert. I love a uh, German leader. We call it Deu uh, Deutsche Lieder. Lieder. Uh, and then I sing... Um, Lots of uh, what about Italian? In Italian, I will do. Uh, let's see. See, Handel, even though he's a German composer, all of his operas are in Italian. Oh, okay. So Giulio Cesare in Egito, that's Italian. Then Tolomeo. Then um, you know, uh, I've, I've done Rodolinda. You know, so there's so many things. And then doing uh, a brand new work by Danny Bernard Remain about opera, uh, in Opera Philadelphia about the move bombings that took place in 1985. Oh, amazing. So, I, so that was a huge thing. We're doing a, we just are releasing a documentary, my um, production company oh. called 40 Years a Prisoner, wow. which is about the aftermath of the move bombing. We should, we should talk, John. Yes, we should. <laughs> and, uh, and I think what, it, you talked about defying expectations, not oh, being yeah. in a box. And one, uh, a black boy from Texas singing opera is, is not expected. It is not. It's yes. very different. And I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I, I got ridiculed a lot for that growing mm -hmm. up, but then I became, it became popular once I was in the seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. Uh, people were like, oh, I guess it's all right. I was like, well, I, I wasn't going to stop singing. Yeah. Uh, because it's where I find safety. You Talk know? about the history of black folks in opera. There have you been know? some groundbreaking oh. talents. I mean, Marian Anderson was the very first African American person to sing at the Metropolitan Opera. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many more people, but I speak about that because I am a Metropolitan Opera artist, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm a Marian Anderson Award winner Amazing. Uh, from Washington National Opera, but we have Leontine Price, Jesse Norman, Shirley Verrett, George Shirley, Simone Estes. I, yes. could, I could go on, Eric Owens, Kathleen Battle. Yes. Um, so there is a history 
of African Americans in opera, I still think that we are underrepresented though, sure. in terms of um, in terms of our demographic, in terms of what you can do. Because I think that whenever you, this is just my opinion, I'm uh -huh. in trouble for it, but I think when you find an African American opera singer, typically we are pretty dang good. Of uh, course. So, and, but not only are you very good at, at opera, but what I've seen throughout this show is you're not limited yeah. to any particular genre. You've been yeah. able to sound amazing in various genres. Um, and uh, by the time people see this, they will have seen you perform yes. Beyonce yes. on The Voice and sing it so beautifully. I'm and so it's, it's just an amazing um, thing that I'm able to see you do so much um, and, and, and cross all these boundaries and, and emerge from any boxes that people would have put you in. Mm -hmm. It's been an amazing thing to watch. Let's talk about gospel music. Did you yes. grow up playing in the church? I grew up playing in church. I grew up, my grandmother was, big, big mama, mm -hmm. was a pianist at my church. So was my grandmother. I, I know, I yes. told you about this when, we, when I first came to the blind. Yes. Uh, and so everything that big mama did, because I, I love her so, still mm -hmm. to this day, uh, everything that she did, I wanted to do. Yes. Everything. And you talk about could sing, uh -huh. big mama could tear a church up. Okay. And I just remember thinking, I want to make people feel the way that she made people feel with her music. Yes. So Big Mama played the piano, and I remember asking her, I was like, Big Mama, will you teach me how to play the piano? She was like, no, I'm going to teach you how to play the same way I learned on my own. Mm -hmm. And that was what I did. So after every church service, I would get on the piano and bang. Yeah. And I really would bang. And then uh, eventually they started turning, turning into harmonies. Uh -huh. And then the moment that they started turning into harmonies, you're going to sit at the piano and play now, and I'm going to direct. Mm -hmm. And you're going to play it. And after the organist leaves, then you're going to get up and go to the organ and play the organ. Oh, and that's what I grew up doing in church because she pushed me into it because I wanted to. Once I showed the expression of, like, I want to try that or an interest in it, she really pushed me in the most beautiful of ways yes. to try my best at everything. And that's why I am the way I am today because of Big Mom. Well, yep. it's amazing, and it's so funny hearing that because I had so many similar experiences, both with my mother and with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And um, talk about the role that the church has played for black mm -hmm. music and yep. training our musicians. You know, I think across the board, any time that you find an amazing artist, you're gonna you're gonna probably find out that that artist started in church, yeah. or or and that they were supported and encouraged by their church, mm -hmm. especially in opera. I don't know a, a black opera singer today who didn't start in church. Yes. They don't sing there anymore or sing the music anymore. Mm -hmm. well, at least I don't think, I, I don't know, a lot of my friends don't do what I'm doing. But, mm -hmm. but we all started in the church. So I think that it is such a wonderful, it, it, it provided such a wonderful foundation yes. for all of us uh, to go all of the different routes that we went to. Yes. I mean, look at you. You look know, at me, yeah. look at Marvin Gaye, look yeah. at Aretha Franklin, look yeah. at John Holliday. Yeah. Oh, the church started all of us, and we wouldn't be where we are as artists without it. We are going to take it back. We're going to sing some gospel music. Yes. We're going to do a classic hymn. We're going to do it. Amazing Grace. <laughs>